Our guest this morning just hosted an event for people looking to buy a home. Denny Grimes with Denny Grimes and team at Keller Williams Realty is joining us in studio this morning. A very exciting day. I don't think we've had an in-studio interview in a very, very long time. So Denny, it's nice to have you here in person with it's us. Good to be here. Great. So Denny, how does the market look for people who are looking to buy a home right now? Well, the market's trending much like 2021. And when I say that, 2021 was a record, a record year. So we're seeing the same trends. And it's a little bit challenging for a buyer because we're seeing upward pressure on price, which buyers don't like a lot, and inventory is getting skinnier. So there's a lot of pressure on buyers to buy. However, the buyers can still win in this market. People asked that same question last year. And if they bought, their property went up 25% in one year. So if you bought the average home of $350,000, they put $70,000 in their pocket. Mm -hmm. So it's a good market for buyers too. All right, great. So if you can afford it, because we know home prices, as you said, are going up, mm -hmm. is it a good time? Yes, and maybe not. So here, here's the rules that I, I tell my clients. Number one, if you're gonna buy to live in home, you need a place to live anyway, right? And as long as you plan on living there a decent, decent amount of time, like five or 10 years, any minor fluctuation in the market will be irrelevant. If you wanna buy to invest and you're gonna rent it, and you're gonna hold it for a period of time, any minor fluctuation will be irrelevant. And rents are going up, like most people know. Yeah. Now, if you want to step in and step out, if you want to speculate or you want to flip, it's a little bit more dangerous. And so if you're going to do that, make sure you're playing with money you, don't, you can afford to lose. Right, exactly. So should buyers be concerned about a bubble in the market? Great question. I get that question all the time, and I say absolutely no, and you can take it to the bank. You need excess inventory to have a bubble. And our market is inventory starved, so there's no bubble on the horizon. And uh, I check it every week. In spite of what's going on with gas prices, inflation, the real estate market is healthy. All right. And so we're about, you know, almost to April in the in 2022. How are you forecasting the rest of the uh, housing market to go for the rest of the year right now? Well, there's upward pressure on cost, interest rates, et cetera. However, the people, there's a lot of people who want to be here. Mm -hmm. The people that can afford to be here are still coming. So I predict a pretty good year in 2022. All right. And do we experience things to level out those prices to kind of go back down or inventory to go back up at any point at here? At some point in time, but we see no sign of it yet. And uh, I know there's cycles in real estate. It's just not happening. And it, it may not be in the foreseeable future. 2022 is going to be a good year. All right. Right, great. And um, how do you compare this to kind of other years in the past? You said it was similar to 2021, uh, but better than 2021. Well, I don't. I, I trust it won't be better than 2021 because we had 25% price appreciation, and I don't want to see that again. I want to see it go back to normal, maybe mm -hmm. five or six percent appreciation, not 2025, because that will eventually lead to a bubble. All right, sounds good. Well, Denny, it was so nice to have you here in studio with us again, not having to talk to you through a screen and over a microphone. So we'll see you back here soon. You bet. All right, thank you.